Okay, so we're out of what you would call full shading into what you would call partial shading. And you can see I've got the circuit disconnected right now. So the solar panels are up to voltage. Hope you can see that, 41 volts or whatever. So if I short this out, Keep that shorted out for a second. Right. And then I plug in the circuit. The only reason why I do this is for the air meter. Okay, so I'm just trying to fire up the circuit here. Okay, so now you can see a rapid increase of voltage on those caps. Boom, right away it started, right? Okay, so now at a potential of 13 volts across those caps, it's running, okay? And I'm no longer getting the pulsing effect, right? So I'm putting about 90 Oh, about 90 milliamps regular average current into that big battery. Now, with quite a partial shade, okay, you can see that I'm dropping my hand right across the, the solar panel. All right yet I'm still charging. Okay. Now, the neat thing is, is that this is what you would call a partial shaded situation. I've got some shading from the tree up there. I got some shading from my hand. But the charging effect is still pretty darn reasonable, right? And now take a look at the you know that's partially due to the capacitors right it it smooths the the function right so now that's my my capacitor voltage if i take my hand away okay we do see that climb definitely like i say yesterday under full sunlight you about 15.8 volts and i do see that current um increase okay definitely we're getting closer to 200 milliamps so now let me put my hand in front again I have my hand right in front of the solar panel covering a good third of one of the solar panels okay now I'm covering the top But you can see that, yeah, it affects the, I'm taking my hand on and off, it affects the charging, but unlike a normal situation where your potential would just drop big time and thus your current would drop, it handles shading better. Okay, sorry for the shaky video here. Um, you know, it just certainly handles a shading situation far better than a normal solar setup, in my opinion. It's like if I had nothing but shade to deal with, this is how I would go. Partial shaded area. You know, definitely, this is how I would do it. As is, with lots of direct sunlight, my concept is, is that you have this circuit running early mornings, late evenings, and then you switch over to a 
a conventional pulse width modulated circuit for the bulk of the day. So let's have a look at the potential of the battery now. It's up to 12.28. Now keep in mind, first thing in the morning, this thing was sitting at 12.09. Okay. And I'm up over 350 milliamps of charging current now. And uh, battery sitting is climbing rapidly as it goes into a more standard charge routine. Now if I unplug the circuit completely to get a better idea of where the battery is really at. Twelve point two. So, you know, the battery sat overnight. It woke up. It was twelve point oh nine. Um, it was twelve point one when it shut down last night. The circuit stayed connected. I didn't unplug anything. Wake up in the morning. It's lost. You know, point zero one of a volt. Instead of having a charge controller that runs 20, 30 milliamps all night long, it wakes up and here we are now, by the time the sun is ready to start really doing charging, our battery is already sitting at 12.2 and, um, you know, in a normal situation, let's say the charging ended at 12.1 at the end of the day, the battery might be sitting at, oh... 12.0 in the morning and then further depleted to this point you know might be 11.95 and then now the charging has just begun so the battery would be sitting at 11.95 instead of 12.2 and that's my point I guess thanks for watching